Gonna tell you about the mother of all vinegar today. What is the mother of all vinegars? Well, I think it's our mother look because our apple cider vinegar actually still has the mother in it. It's unpasteurized, unfiltered, and what does that mean? Well, it just means that when you pasteurize it, you kill the bacteria. There's actually a probiotic in raw apple cider vinegar. It's called acetic acid. That's what makes it sour. Acetic acid bacteria. That's what turns the apples into vinegar. Well, once you heat that up and pasteurize it, that good bacteria is gone. And it actually can be like a probiotic. It is a good bacteria. We also don't filter it. So there is a byproduct of that bacteria. It's a cellulose that's called the mother. And so you have to shake it up because it's, it's uh, some sediment down in there. And what that is, it actually works as a digestive enzyme as well. So you're getting a lot of things. And our mother load also is a 60 grain. Pretty much the average vinegar is a 40 grain. So it's more concentrated, it's got beneficial bacteria, and we add garlic. And I know a lot of, I, I got a lot of goat farmers and cattle farmers who use it to help deal with flies. And some chicken people use it for wormers. So anyway, garlic is just a great, healthy, beneficial uh, supplement that can go in. So that's why we put that in. So that's our mother load. But I do get a lot of questions about how to run mother load. So, you know, what do we do with it? Can you run it all the time? So what we suggest is starting your birds off first day or two. As soon as they hit the ground, get it in there, get them about 12 ounces per gallon. And then you're going to wait about a week. And then you're going to give them another 12 ounces per gallon for a full day. So run it for day one, day two, may have to charge the lines. And then wait a week and give it to them for one full day. The next week, do it the same. So the first three weeks, you're going to give it to them day one and day two. The next week for one day, third week, do it for one full day again at 12 ounces per gallon. Then once a week at six ounces per gallon. Now, I do caution you because when we first put this out, uh, we started selling this. We had done some trials and things. We're all good to go. I had a customer call me and say, man, this thing clogged up my nipples. And I went, oh my goodness. We did so much research and nothing happened. I said, well, tell me about how you ran it. So he starts telling me that my birds loved it. So I just started giving it to them every day. I said, well, first of all, that's not how we said do it, but second of all, quit, stop, because it's not worth that. About a month later, I was at a Tyson grower banquet in North Carolina, and I got to hear Dr. Susan Watkins, who is from the University of Arkansas, one of the authorities on water quality. And I was sitting there listening to her, and she was talking about how if you're going to change your pH, you may have to, if you have high, low you know, you need to acidify it too much. Their birds are going to come off the water. You can use vinegar to get it up. She's, but she cautioned. She said, but don't be careful how much vinegar you run because vinegar, apple cider vinegar in general, can cause a biofilm on the nipples. And it can actually create a slime and clog up the nipples. So I went, ah, there we go. So the guy ran every day. So my encouragement is if you run mother load, don't run it every day. If you want to run it more often, then cut it way back. Now, after about three weeks, we suggest six ounces per gallon. But if you were to want to run it for two or three days in advance, or two or three days at a time, cut it back to about maybe two ounces per gallon or three ounces per gallon. The other thing is this. Um, not only can it create a biofilm if you run any vinegar too much, but apple cider vinegar is an acid. Now, it is a weak acid but it is an acid and you can actually run too much to where apple cider vinegar will tighten up the gut. But if you run too much, it will irritate and then they'll start getting loose again. So there's some things to think about with apple cider vinegar and our mother load. Uh, be careful on how much you run. Try to stay to our, um, our little prescription there of, you know, six ounces per gallon one day a week later on, and you can go 12 ounces on the earlier days. But those are some things, mother load. But it can help tighten up the gut. It has uh, other benefits, even the garlic and some things like that as far as health benefits and dealing with um, bacteria and general health. 
And um, so anyway, those are some things to think about. I uh, hope this was a help because I get a lot of questions about mother load and this apple cider vinegar and there's not a lot out there because nobody wants to research vinegar. There's no money. There's no pharmaceutical money in doing big studies on apple cider vinegar. But those are some things to think about. Uh, if we can help you in any way, give me a call 1-800-608-3755 or email alan at southlandorganics.com.